All right, good afternoon guys. We're here in Hampton doing a structural inspection of a little home. Uh, a realtor reached out to us about uh, the floors of this house being generally unlevel. Um, they had a contractor come in, do an inspection within the crawl space, uh, quoted a big number for repairs uh, that kind of sent up red flags to everyone. So the purpose for us being here is to provide third party structural inspection, determine what repairs are actually necessary from a structural perspective. So right now we are inside the house and we're taking a look around on the interior. We're looking at things such as the doors, the plumbness of the doors, square of the door frames, uh, same thing with windows, uh, making sure that they all operate properly and are not jamming within their frames. Typically jamming can indicate a structural issue. It doesn't always indicate one. Um, you know, jamming of doors and windows can be a product of just expansion and contraction of the wood components over time. Um, so this kind of thing we're walking around, we can see with this door frame up at the front that there might be a little bit of un unlevelness at one point in time, the door frame was reset. But the main concern that we're here to look at is over in this back bedroom. Over in the back bedroom, we have a noticeable sag in the floor over in this closet area. And so that is the main area of concern. While we're here, we're taking a look at other areas just to um, give us an idea of the total overall structural health of the home. A lot of the times we start our structural inspections on the interior of the homes. Uh, we're looking for those same things described, unlevelness in the floors, drywall cracks, unlevel door, flame, door frames, uh, cracked walls, sagging ceilings. And so what that allows us to do is it allows us to develop um, a basis or an area to focus when we are going up into the attics and going down into the crawl spaces. Instead of just going down into a crawl space with a general aimless look, um, we can find issues within the interior of the home that can help focus our attention when we are in those spaces. Uh, so in that respect, we're going to be paying attention to the front of the house up where the front door is and then also we will be paying attention to this back side of the house where we have the notable sag in this back bedroom. One thing to note is that this back bedroom appears to have been an addition. This little laundry area is a part of that addition too. It looks like this wall right here is the original exterior wall. We were able to confirm that up in the attic where the original roof framing was being terminated on top of that wall. So we're anticipating to see in the crawl space before we get in there, we're anticipating that the area of our sag in the floor over in this area is going to correspond with a continuous CMU foundation wall. We don't anticipate it being part of a pier and girder system. So we will find out once we get in there.